was part of the Peers Global Seminar Program and I visited France in the French theater class. This photo is very vibrant, and that's how I would describe the experience in France. Every play that we went to was a unique play in its own, um, very colorful, you know, the sound, the French language, the culture, everything is encapsulated in this one photo. Theater is something that I didn't think I was comfortable with. It's all something that's very overwhelming, but I think being in a different community and trying to explore something new with other students that are also trying to do the same thing. Um, it's really refreshing and it gives you a foundation to learn new things and that's what I loved about my experience with the Global Seminar. Haiti's always been near and dear to my heart and so my, for my senior thesis I looked at transnational identities which span the borders between Haiti and America but also part of my senior thesis is a film based on the story of when I went to work in Haiti after the earthquake back in my early years of high school. When I look at the photo, I see, I see some joy in it. You know, I see, I see light, you know, there are clear waters, you see the shadow on the floor of the ocean. And to me says, despite whatever circumstances there are, despite whatever hardships they may face, there's still a sense of happiness, there's still a sense of resilience. There's still that culture that bleeds through them no matter what. The goal of my photo in this it's to change the narrative of Haiti, you know? It's not what we see generally or what we perceive. I don't know, they're still smiling. And I think that's kind of what's important. Princeton has a really incredible program called the Bridge Year Program that enables incoming freshmen to spend nine months in one of five cities across the globe. I was really excited about Salvador, Brazil, where I could work with an urban gardening organization and pursue a previously established interest in sustainable agriculture, the environment, and also community service. And I was able to explore the city and get to know other aspects of life there. A couple other Princeton students and I got to know this man named Georgie, who was an instrument creator through this musical and creative lens. He forgets about a lot of other things that are going on in a way that can be very positive and productive, but you're in the presence of someone who is so invested and absorbed with their passion. In his kitchen setting, he's almost forgotten to clean, he's forgotten to cook, and it's as though the only sustenance is the beat of his drum, the like strum of his guitar. It's just him and the music, which was a cool experience to be there. One of the many considerations I had when I got to Princeton was my interest in doing some sort of international experience and get a chance to be exposed to a pretty different academic environment than Princeton. So what made this photo, I think, particularly exciting was it not only had a very important national element to what it means to be a British person, um, it also had a lot of implications of being a visitor in the U UK. Getting a chance to see the British people just get completely excited about um, this giant bonfire, all these fireworks for Guy Fawkes Day. It's just such a different experience. In, in the U.S., you wouldn't necessarily be celebrating, you know, an effigy going up into flame and having like a huge bonfire. Um, so getting a chance to see that just takes me back to not only the different traditions that go on abroad, but also the celebrations that continue from basically the 1700s to present. One thing about study abroad which is just phenomenal is you get a chance to, you know, see things for real. To be a part of this crazy experience was um, something I think that this picture represents. 